The Organization of Black Cincinnati Police Officers says allegations of discrimination against whites on the force are absolutely false. A lawsuit filed by two white officers says a double standard favors black officers in general and one officer in particular. Jeff Hirsch looks at the case and the growing number of racial issues in the CPD. For the past 15 years, due to the collaborative agreement, the Cincinnati Police Department has been seen as a national model for police community relations. But lately, police police relations have been troubled. I have been representing the Sentinels since 1984. And this is the most outrageous lawsuit that the Sentinels have seen. The suit was filed by two white female officers, Tamara Brown and Joy Legatus, against the city, the Sentinels, and Lieutenant Danita Pettis. The suit claims an unconstitutional race-based double standard, which favors African Americans in hiring, promotion, and assignments, and which has created racial tension in the police force. The two white officers say Lieutenant Pettis is vindictive and openly racist and has created a hostile work environment. The Sentinels and other civil rights groups say absolutely not true. What's appalling to me is that in its 160 year history, Lieutenant Pettis is only the third African American female lieutenant. That's in its entire history. And there are some who want to question whether or not there are advantages that are unfair. There have been racially tinged issues the past three years. The firing of Chief Jeffrey Blackwell, the forced retirement of Assistant Chief Dave Bailey, the sex discrimination complaint from Bridget Bardua, the Bardua overtime controversy, and ongoing disputes between the Sentinels and the Fraternal Order of Police. And now this. When has a lawsuit been positive? When has a lawsuit um, shown a positive image in any area whenever a lawsuit is filed? Lawsuits are usually based on something very negative. And so, yes, I would say that, that this is a negative mark on the Cincinnati Police Department, this lawsuit. But it does not mean it can't end in a positive manner. Very true. And, and that's what we're trying to do. Lieutenant Pettis was at the Sentinel's news conference but did not comment because she is a defendant in the lawsuit. We have a call into the attorney for the two white officers who have filed the suit but have not yet heard back. Back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you. FOP President Dan Hills tells Local 12 News that he won't comment today because he wants to respect the memory uh, and also the family of Officer Sonny Kim. He was murdered three years ago.